um, the gang stalker in this Volvo SUV right there, she delayed my phone and um, she had her phone aimed at me. That demonic bitch. And then there was another car SUV. When I turned the corner, they were um, pulling off. And then this van right here is pulling off. So, and then you see and this Jeep right here with one headlight. Dang. So they want to keep me filming. I tried to walk on some off streets where they couldn't get me. Hoping that they wouldn't get me. And here, I mean, dang. And she wouldn't have her phone aimed at me if I would if I would have been filming this walk. It's now 8.51 a.m. And they gang stalked me super heavy always on this street. So yeah, I was trying to not do it. And look, this, this, um, the green truck blocked the gang stalking white SUV right there. And the passenger side had his arm up. He had his arm up. And look, some more gang stalkers. I don't feel like waiting by the library for a whole hour. Yeah, everybody loves everyone except me. Some more activity. So my phone battery is at 40%. I got my poncho on because I wasn't sure if it was going to rain. But it did a little raining last night. Well, all these people who sold their souls, you know, and they can live the dog on rich life, you know, but people try to make it like as if, oh, you know, God is keeping you homeless and broke because you're, um, if, if God bless you with money, then you would be irresponsible with it. And that's why he is not blessing you. That may nag my conscience and made me feel bad too. And I missed another perp with strange headlights earlier. So, I used the last, just about the last bit of money that I had. So I probably have now 32 cents in the bank and about less than a dollar in cash. So... I had bought me these um, pre-made deli um, 
sliders, you know, the King's Hawaiian sliders with the turkey and cheddar cheese or whatever and some chips and a little something, you know. Uh, they had ice cream, tiny little one that was 10 for 10 and I, I got one and she, ooh, she had her phone aimed at me too. See, look how rich these fuckers are. Oh, they're mature and responsible with money, but oh, God is blessing them, huh? But they're serving the devil. And legitimate homeless people are treated like shit. And you can barely get $10 throughout the day to panhandle for, for survival. But the crooked homeless that really do, um, they brag about how they spend their, the, the, they brag about how they spend their panhandle money on drugs and you know people would rather hold up people would rather feed their drug habit you know hi so um so yeah um, people who brag about, they, they brag about, um, and they, they think it's a, that it's a badge of honor to brag about how, um, how they spend $500 a day on drugs, that they can hustle up $500 a day and spend it on drugs. When I can't even get ten dollars, for like a bus pass or something, I can't even. People could get five hundred dollars a day for drugs, but I can't get ten dollars. You know, and can't even get help to get out of my situation. You, you know, so the fake T.I. perks that sold out, they try to make it like I'm some loser who need to get my life together, but you, but then they pretend that, that they're still targeted. But you know, it's very hard to get your life back together because you try to build yourself back up and they kick the gang stalking network, they kick you down. See, look. Well, where are you supposed to go then? They have a like a brand new sign saying no pet trespassing or no camping. And that's to deter homeless. I gotta pee again, because I just peed when I left Publix. Dang, I, I'm trying to get a, a job opportunity fast, but I, I need a something fast, you know. But um, I need a job opportunity fast, but um. It's like the, the job that I've been working on trying to get, I'm kind of scared because they say you got to stand on your feet. And I mean, up to 14 hours a day. And you know, up to 14 hours a day and you don't even really get to get a break. It might be all kinds of uncomfortable for me. 
I don't know. I have applied for other jobs and different jobs. You know. I heard that it's, it would be complicated to use a scooter for um, trying to do, I don't know, like if you rent a scooter downtown and then try to, um, if you rent a scooter downtown and then try to go and do DoorDash or something, I heard it's kind of productive. Because you, you know, renting a scooter and pay money for that and then go work and then, you know, but I don't, I mean, I feel like kind of trying to do DoorDash might be hard since if I'm banned from all these restaurants, not a lot of, not all the restaurants, but banned from so many restaurants. So I, it might be hard for me to do DoorDash or something. Or maybe I have to just not accept the order or something. So yeah, it's um 901 right now. I remember certain libraries will open at like eight o'clock or nine o'clock. Or be open up until nine or ten o'clock at night. I guess in bigger cities. But you know, despite me being forced on the streets. I'm trying to, you know, stay clean, trying to, um, but I heard people say that workplace mobbing and community mobbing has become more and more, um, rampant. So now I have, financially, I have almost nothing to my name. I hate when you go on blogs and message boards. And I hate when you go on blogs and message boards and um, you get harassed and then there's no way you can block that person or they might suggest that you put them on your ignore, but then again, they can still see your content and comment and harass, you know? Like Quora, for instance. I wish that there would be a way where you can block the harasser and that they cannot see your content at all, like on Twitter. So I have to hold, be forced to hold my pee in for at least an hour. I'm, I'm kind of too full to buy or eat anything else in order to have to go pee. So yeah. I don't be feeling comfortable coming to this downtown library for a lot of reasons. See, look, he, he got red shoes. So,
they're blocking the gang stalkers they're blocking me from making a living or doing what makes me happy you know yeah so yeah all these churches and that tie to the pastor and then people say the pastor has a right to um you know be pampered If they have a right to be pampered and taken care of, but, but the Bible don't say that. Excuse me, you have change to spare for food to eat? You have change to spare for food to eat? All right, thank you. Yeah, I, I mean, the job that I'm supposed to be anticipating, I don't know if I can handle a job like that because of my disability. I don't think that's a good fit for me. I mean, it, it took me a while to realize, oh, wait a minute, how much noise will be involved? Or, you know... But, wow, if I had the proper nutritious food to eat, then it can, um, I can be able to detox and, you know, get rid of inflammation so that my feet won't hurt. Oh, wow. He has his arm right on the window. Yeah, if I had a way to get a car, that could open up so much more job opportunities. You in my way, move. Excuse me, y'all. Excuse me. Do y'all have change? Y'all have change to spare for food to eat? What's that? Yeah, so um, it's 9.09. I guess I have to wait 51 minutes for the library to open. It's harder in the morning to try to get help. What, what you might do. Black tinted windows. I guess I have to try to go ask, go try to panhandle some more. And, oh yeah, I forgot a lady had gave me um two dollars and a coupon for some um what kind of melon? I forgot the um honeydew melon. Look at them dirty buses. Look, even the passengers have their arm, you know. And he probably recently put his arm up there like 
and pretend it like as if his arm been up there. So I'm looking for a safe place where I can get emotional support on what I've been going through all this year with every doggone body. But it's hard to try to talk about it without mentioning gang stalking. Oh, man. So, um, dealing with narcissistic abuse, it seems like you'd be forced to feel like you need to see a dog on therapist. But then you go to a therapist and then they act like a perp and you pay them and be perped and abused and victim blamed because they're narcissistic perps. And, and then they blame, people blame you for why you never get to heal. Or it's like you're, you're such a pathetic loser, you know. So, I'll see y'all in a bit.